Hello everybody, we are here in Germany, in the middle, somewhere north of Frankfurt, and we've got a brand new Bosch motor. Keep the cadence high. I'm not actually sure, it doesn't really interfere. So this is it, it's called the Bosch Performance Line SX. It weighs two kilos, so around four pounds. It comes with a 400 watt hour battery, which is in the down tube. You have the possibility of an extra battery of 250 watts, which goes on the outside of the frame, if you so desire. This is the latest system from Bosch, designed for mid-weight and lightweight bikes. The whole idea of it is to give increased feeling for the ride down the hill. Many other brands have done this already with their motors. Now Bosch are in the market. It's another niche, it's a special motor. This is a lightweight e-bike. It hasn't got a brand written on it, so I'm guessing it's one of a, a special German brands, but it is a lightweight e-bike. So we're talking e-bikes around the 20 kilo, 40 pound mark. It's also designed with its own special software tune for gravel. And that's a very important thing to consider. This is the gravel version of this bike with the SX motor. If we have a close look at it, you can see how slim line it is as it integrates into the frame. The inside there is a 400 watt hour battery. We don't know the range on this bike, but we can assume that we can get up to at least 100 kilometers depending on the power mode you use. It uses the Bosch Mini remotes. It's got its own separate power modes and including uses the Kiox 300 display. So this is the battery that goes inside the frame. It's a 400 watt hour battery and it's got the 21700 cells in it, compact. And they say with 200 watts per kilogram, it's got the highest density energy on the market. Right, this is the new Purion display which fits on the left. It's the smart system Purion display. It gives you the basic information in display form. That is pretty cool. I like that. Now for the hard of seeing and the uh, urban market, they've come up with a Kiox 500. That is basically a bigger display, does everything that the 300 does, but now is much bigger. Now we're trying to track down the motor. And I think I found somebody who might have it to be on camera. Oh, hi. Is this what you're looking for? Who's this? This is Rob Hansel from Rob Rides EMTB. Hi, I've just got this. I just managed to find it up there from somebody. It's yeah. pretty impressive actually. It's pretty light, two kilos. I've noticed it's quite thin because when you see it like this, it looks doesn't look that small, but that mm. from that angle, it's quite thin. And it... What do you think about the lightweight concept? Now, Bosch are on, on it. What do you reckon? I think it's a really interesting category because this is, it's lightweight, but it's 55 newton meters and it's up to 600 watts, which is pretty, pretty powerful. That's not yeah, too yeah, that's far not off the full, the full yeah, fat yeah, yeah. E bike. So, what they said in the presentation was that you can actually almost keep up with full power bikes. If you put in a lot of cadence, it's going to give you 600 watts. And I don't think a full fat, what's the performance CX? The other motors don't peak that high at all, no. So, you're right. Yeah. So, it's getting there, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's two kilos, so it's a bit lighter. I do like the fact that you can now use these range extender batteries as well mm. but you can also put these on the on the existing generation full you power can. bike so then you've got a kilowatt a kilowatt of battery power right i it's need more power, power. A, kilowatt. <laughs> a kilowatt wow so you've got a kilowatt or you can go for that and the 400 watt so there's just more options for people i did 70 kilometers in turbo mode and about 1800 feet of climbing total two days ago and I was just in turbo mode the whole time. So that's far. Yeah, that's a big ride. I mean, I'm normally quite tired when I've run an entire 750, but this means more turbo basically, doesn't yeah. it? So who doesn't want more turbo? This is a smart system thing, and I'd love to see your app. We could show mine as well. How often do we in turbo mode? Because my app tells me how often I'm in turbo mode. And I'll tell you, honestly, it's about 50% of it? the time. Yeah, mine's probably, it's up there. It's yeah, yeah. I mean, my eco mode is like, <laughs> this <Zero>. is nothing. <laughs> Even I've got one percent on off. Apparently, okay. I wrote off one. Is that 1%. when the battery ran out? Anyway, Rob. Well, thanks for letting no worries. Jump into look? my video. It's, though. it's pretty nice. I yeah, mean, it's a it's pretty cool. svelte little unit. Yeah, so I've just got to see it, but I am looking forward to actually taking a bike out and testing it and finding out how it actually rides in the bike. Because it's one thing 
looking at it and seeing the stats, but the real proof is in how the bike actually rides. So mm. here you go, have a look and uh, see what you think. So there we go, guys. We've got the motor in our hand, finally. Thank you, Rob. Feels actually the same weight as a Specialized motor. Although Specialized motors are slightly lighter, they're a lightweight motor, the TQ motor is about a bit lighter. But I think Bosch are doing some very interesting things by producing this in the market. And when Bosch join in, then basically everybody's gonna follow now. It's So don't forget, as Rob said, this has 55 Newton meters, 600 watt peak, with a 400 watt hour battery, it's probably going to last about a good couple of hours riding without any problems. So it'd be very interesting to see this. Okay, so now we're gonna go and do the ride. With Jerome Clements, the group, this will be interesting just to see how the bike mo moves. They've mentioned we're gonna do a descent straight away. Oh, I can't shift. Okay, so we're testing this bike. We have a really more of a trail bike rather than a bike, but wow. Whoa. I mean, the bike feels super lightweight, obviously. Ooh, we're using the ABS there. Okay. Turbo. Basically, this is an interesting thing. So look, here we go. Riding along. If I put it in a gear where it's a bit more like a normal motor, it's pushing reasonably well. I can feel it. If I change down a bit and go higher, it pushes more. It really likes this high cadence. There you go, you can hear it. It's noisier than a Fatsua and noisier than a TQ, but it does push more, you've got more power. This does have more power, it feels like a Bosch power. It doesn't feel bad at all actually, quite like it, I have to say. We've got extended boost on it, which means if you hit the pedals, it gives you like a little boost of power for half a second. Okay, so we're riding uphill now in EMTB mode. You've got to keep a high cadence. The motor loses a little bit of power if you don't keep that cadence moving. There's a bit of technical. Let's try an extended boost. That works. So, Jerome, a question. Do you prefer the SX or the CX? I would say it depends. Uh, I haven't spent that much time on a, on a SX bike to okay. really have my mind, but the few time I spend, I really like it. I mean, it, it depends. Like, I go sometime in the Alps, okay. but when you want to play in a garden for for riding, I think it's uh, the S6 will be my go-to. Okay, so now take your phone out of the pocket, please. Customize the riding mode. So what I normally do yeah. is that. Plus five, yeah, and dynamic plus five. So we've maxed out now the assistance mode. Dynamic mode, I can already feel the EMTB mode is stronger, actually. So this is technical, oh, oh. but obviously the bike is light. It's very important to consider that, like, the weight of the bike. So there's the view. We always like a good view We're in the middle of Germany. Okay, that's very comfortable. This is Nick, another journalist who we should give an honorable mention to. <laughs> Tell you what, you missed the beauty of the crash today. Yeah. What happened? Some guy came in, full sort of star fish, man. It was incredible. Really? Yeah. Over the bars? O OTB and then handstand for about five seconds. Wow. Terrible. What did we conclude? I'm not going to talk about the bike because it's not really irrelevant, but the motor. Definitely feel that this motor is probably one of the best lightweight motors on the market. Smoother than any of the other systems out there, probably apart from the TQ, but the TQ doesn't have the power of this. This that 600 watt peak, yes, you can feel it. You can definitely keep up with a normal e-bike rider. The full power mode on this turbo feels like probably EMTB mode on a normal bike. The eco mode is works, but I don't really like it. The tour mode is good. The EMTB mode is good. Turbo mode, fantastic. The consumption of the battery, the range with this motor is probably very comparable to a normal e-bike because this bike is at least five to six kilos less in weight. Very, very impressed with this motor. It feels like a Bosch motor. It does not feel like another motor. It feels like a Bosch. So if you're from a Bosch background, you like the Bosch system. And there will be a lot of these bikes being launched, I think in the next few weeks and months ahead. After this section, there's gonna be a little bit of an interview with Klaus Fleischer. It's worth hanging on for just to watch that, where he talks about some AR. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye. Okay. That was
Okay, I was trying to find him earlier, but it wasn't really the right moment. This is Klaus Fleischer, the CEO of Bosch e-bike systems. What's your, what's the reaction? What do you think to us looking at this motor? What are you feeling, the so feedback? Actually, it's the third model year of the smart system. Yeah. We promised that every year we bring an expansion of our portfolio for the smart system. Now we have all driving, it's all batteries, all displays and controllers on the smart system from active until performance line CX. Okay. And now there was room for plus one and plus one is the this. SX. Yeah. And the performance line SX with a maximum of 55 Newton meters and up to 400 watts of power. It's quite is, a lot. It's quite a lot yeah. and it's really fun to ride. So I have a crazy idea. What about an Apple Vision Pro headset plugged into the bike? <laughs> so you could, you could record your ride and then when you get home you can sit there and you can watch it back in like 3D real. It's all running off the... Because you need a massive battery to run those things. You know that? So, you could... so actually the idea ideas of blending together the physical experience of riding yeah. a bike and the digital experience the of augmented using, reality of yeah. using an yeah. app and cloud services and now we bring it to the next level with augmented reality yeah yeah, this will come sooner or later. So I'm not promising anything. So we could have goggles but, yeah. with heads up display kind of. Yeah, but wow. it's not so far away because we okay. do feature streaming already. And we explained how you yeah. can use the Flow app with navigation. Yeah, yeah. You put the Flow app with a smartphone into your pocket. Yeah. You have Bluetooth and the feature streaming goes into Kiox. Okay. And then Kiox provides you uh, with the data, the yeah. Information yeah. And the how you call this? Okay. The turn turn signal. It either has a buzzer to to uh, to uh, alert yeah. you. So basically, feature streaming is already there. The next level is feature streaming in something. Man, man, man. Interesting. More, more so you heard that here first with me. It's yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. The future. The future. Yeah. The future is. Cool. Interesting. Cool yeah. Well, thank you very much for having us here. Absolutely. And uh, always fun. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. And I'm not riding with you. I'm riding tomorrow morning. Tomorrow. Anyway. When I and I did tell stuff. and I did tell Bot, uh, Klaus lots of different ideas. So so he listens, which is important when we go talking about the ideas of bikes into the future. So good, Alec. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.